You want to be rich, but you don't know how. You're not sure how to make money online, and you're tired of trying to figure it out on your own. Well, in this video I'm going to show you how to do it. Just follow my simple steps for one month, and you could be on your way to a life of financial freedom. Robert Kiyosaki is an American businessman, author, investor, and motivational speaker. Kiyosaki is best known for the rich dad, poor dad series of books. Every day, we have a set schedule that many of us go by. We all usually wake up at the same time, go to work at the same time, and eat lunch during the hour allotted for it. Kiyosaki believes that people subconsciously want to give their life over to the system. This style of life is beneficial for both governments and companies because it makes them a lot of money. And now, without much further ado, the event you've all been waiting for. Step 1. Decide to be rich. You cannot be rich without first making the decision to be rich. This means that you must decide that you want to be financially independent, live an abundant life, and be free of financial worries. Once you have made this decision, you must take action steps to bring your dream into reality. Some people are born into wealth, but most people have to work hard and save their money in order to become rich. They can do this by creating a budget and sticking to it. They should also invest their money wisely so that it grows over time. Step 2. Set your financial goals. The first step to becoming rich is to decide what you want. You need to set financial goals that will stretch you and push you to reach your full potential. Your goals should be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. Some examples of financial goals include, I will save $500 per month for the next year. I will invest $250 per month in a mutual fund. I will pay off my credit card debt within two years. I will save $10,000 for a down payment on a house within five years. Step 3. Make a plan. Once you have your list of tasks and a general idea of when you want them to be accomplished, you need to set up a plan. This plan can be as simple as a to-do list, but it should be more detailed than that. If you are looking for a simple but effective plan, consider using the SMART method. This is a popular business planning method that stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. Roberts said, the only difference between the rich, poor, and middle class is the kind of lifestyle they want. You don't have to be psychic to tell a person's future. If you listen to the words a person uses, they will tell you their future. Rich Dad used to tell me that words were a person's most powerful tool. He would constantly remind me to watch the words I spoke because he believed the things you say and the things you think actually shape your life. Step 4. Decide on where you want to do your banking. It's not just the 1% that can be rich. Anyone can be wealthy if they make the right decisions and take the right actions. One of the most important decisions you can make when it comes to your finances is where you do your banking. The right bank can help you save money, grow your wealth, and reach your financial goals. Here are 4 things to consider when choosing a bank. 1. Fees. Avoid banks that charge high fees. Look for banks that offer free checking and savings accounts. 2. Interest rates. Choose a bank that offers competitive interest rates on savings and investments. 3. Location. Consider banks that have branches near you. This can be convenient if you need to visit a branch in person. 4. Reputation. Do your research and choose a bank that has a good reputation. The right bank can make a big difference in your financial success. Choose wisely and you could be on your way to a bright financial future. Step 5. Choose your friends and partners wisely. When it comes to building your wealth, you need to be careful about who you choose as your friends and partners. There are a lot of people out there who will try to take advantage of you and your money. They will promise you the world and then leave you high and dry. So, how can you protect yourself from these predators? The first step is to be aware of them. There are certain red flags that you should watch out for. If someone is always talking about how much money they have or how easy it is to make money, they are probably not someone you want to be around. If someone is always trying to sell you something or get you to invest in their latest scheme, they are also not someone you want to be around. The second step is to choose your friends and partners wisely. You want to be around people who have similar goals and values as you do. People who are positive and supportive and who want to see you succeed. The third step is to have a plan. You need to know what you want to achieve and how you are going to achieve it. Otherwise, you will just be spinning your wheels and going nowhere. If you follow these steps, you too can be rich. It is not easy, but it is possible. So, what are you waiting for? Get started today. Step 6. Give yourself time. Do you feel like you'll never be able to get ahead? If you're like most people, you probably think that being rich is something that only happens to other people. Well, I'm here to tell you that you too can be rich. It's not as hard as you might think. 
In fact, if you're willing to put in the work, anyone can become rich. There are a few key things you need to do if you want to become rich. Step 7. Start small. Dream big. You don't have to be born into wealth to acquire wealth. You, too, can be rich. Of course, it's not going to happen overnight, and it's not going to be easy. But if you're willing to work hard and think long term, it is possible for you to achieve financial independence and build the life of your dreams. The first step is to start small. You're not going to become a millionaire overnight, so don't expect to, but you can start making changes in your life that will put you on the path to financial success. Start by saving as much money as you can each month. Even if it's just a few hundred dollars, it's a start. Then invest that money wisely. Don't put it all into one stock or one mutual fund. Spread it out so you're diversified and less likely to lose everything if one investment goes sour. Once you have a little bit of money saved, you can start thinking about ways to make more money. Do you have a skill or talent that you could monetize? Could you start a side hustle to bring in some extra cash? As you start making more money, don't forget to keep saving. The goal is to eventually have enough money saved so that you can live off of your investments. This is called financial independence and it's something that you can achieve if you're willing to work for it. So start small, dream big, and remember that you too can be rich. Step 8. Before you expand, you must contract. You too can be rich. You've probably heard the saying, you have to spend money to make money. While there's some truth to that, it's not always the case. You can actually get rich by spending less money. Think about it this way. If you spend less money, you'll have more money to save. And if you save more money, you'll have more money to invest. Over time, those investments can grow and make you a lot of money. So, how can you spend less money? Here are some tips. 1. Track your spending. You can't save money if you don't know where your money is going. Start tracking your spending so you can see where you can cut back. There are a lot of great apps and websites that can help you with this. Tip 2. Make a budget. Once you know where your money is going, you can start to make a budget. A budget will help you make sure you're spending your money on the things that are important to you. Tip 3. Cut back on unnecessary expenses. There are probably a lot of things you're spending money on that you don't really need. Take a close look at your spending and see where you can cut back. Tip 4. Invest in yourself. One of the best things you can do with your money is invest in yourself. That might mean taking a class, starting a business, or investing in your health. Tip 5. Automate your savings. One of the best ways to save money is to automate it. You can set up a savings account that automatically transfers a certain amount of money from your checking account each month. This way, you're less likely to spend the money because it's not sitting in your account. Making these changes can help you save a lot of money. And when you have more money saved, you can start investing it and making even more money. So, don't wait. Start saving today. Step 9. Get bigger faster. When it comes to building wealth, there are a lot of ways to skin a cat. You can be born into money, win the lottery, or come up with the next big invention. But for the vast majority of people, the only way to get rich is to slowly and steadily grow their wealth over time. The first step to getting rich is to save as much money as possible. This may seem difficult, but it's actually not as hard as it seems. There are a number of ways to save money, such as automating your savings, living below your means, and investing in yourself. The second step to getting rich is to invest your money wisely. This means putting your money into assets that will grow in value over time, such as stocks, real estate, and businesses. The third step to getting rich is to continue to invest money wisely and to keep your costs low. This means reinvesting your profits and keeping your overhead low. The fourth step to getting rich is to diversify your investments. This means not putting all of your eggs in one basket. Instead, invest in a variety of assets such as stocks, real estate, and businesses. The fifth step to getting rich is to stay disciplined. This means following your investment plan and sticking to your budget. The sixth step to getting rich is to be patient. This means not trying to get rich quick. Instead, focus on slowly and steadily growing your wealth over time. The seventh step to getting rich is to stay the course. This means not getting discouraged when your investments don't perform as well as you'd like. Instead, keep investing and keep growing your wealth. The eighth step to getting rich is to have a plan. This means knowing what you want to achieve and how you're going to get there. The ninth and final step to getting rich is to get bigger faster. This means taking on more risk and investing more money. This may seem scary, but it's actually the best way to grow your wealth. Step 10. The more you share, the richer you become. It is often said that the more you share, the richer you become. While this may be true in many ways, it is especially true when it comes to knowledge. The more knowledge you share with others, the richer you become in return. This is because sharing knowledge is a two-way street. 
When you share your knowledge with others, you not only enrich their lives, but you also learn new things yourself. In fact, studies have shown that sharing knowledge is one of the best ways to learn new information. So, if you want to become richer in knowledge, start sharing what you know with others. You may be surprised at how much you learn in return.